There is a new acronym on the loose in the world of televisions, HDR. Now that's short for high dynamic range. In a sea of acronyms, a literal alphabet soup, why should you care about HDR? Well, we brought an expert in to help explain why. It's, it's about the lift of the bright regions in an image compared to the darker re regions. It's about the lift. It's a relative impact that you get by that pop. And it could be specular highlights, it could be explosions, flashes, even subtle uh, shadows in, in a darker scene. We are able to see the details of the shadows which were washed out in non-HDR content. And for that, you need really high grayscale resolution so you are able to see it. You need to have the display be able to show that. And especially when the display goes darker, you need to have that floor that the display has that goes down all the way to the black to be able to see that subtle detail. Many of, of the LCD TVs, most of them, don't have that flow. They have a very high gray level, so you can't see that. It isn't about contrast ratio, but if you want to describe it with some numerical, then that's one of the parameters you use. And even when you talk about contrast, there are different types of contrast. There is contrast where you have one part of the image dark and somewhere some other part of the image very bright. But contrast is also about where you have a star, a small point source of light, and then right next to it, it's dark. And you want to be able to have that point source appear very bright, and we call that local contrast, which means that step edges have to be well represented, not blurred out or smoothed out, because then you don't get that pop. You can look at range in many ways. You can look at it in contrast, whether it's region-based or local contrast, but you can also look at it in terms of f-stops, and that's what people use in photography. Uh, I think in the, in the case of LCD TVs traditionally, uh, without a local dimming, the amount of contrast was limited to only about 12 f-stops. Uh, at the maximum. With local dimming, you could get to 15, 16 maybe, but with technologies like OLED, you can get to 20 plus f-stops of contrast. Uh, I think what the Hollywood community sees is that you get more bang for the buck, you get more compelling user experiences, more of a premium user experiences, when you not only increase the number of pixels, but you also increase color and you improve uh, grayscale resolution.